Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 17. The sin of Yahuda is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. While their children remember their altars and their Asherah poles by the green trees upon the high hills, O oh, my mountain in the field, I will give your substance and all your treasures to the spoil and your high places for sin throughout all your borders. And you, even yourself, shall discontinue from your heritage that I gave you, and I will cause you to serve at your enemies in the land which you know not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn for ever. Thus says Yahuwah, Cursed be the man that trusts in man, and makes flesh his arm, and whose heart departs from Yahuwah. For he shall be like the juniper in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusts in Yahuwah, and whose hope Yahuwah is, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreads out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat comes, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahuwah, search the heart, I try the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge sits on eggs and hatches them not, so he that gets riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end shall be a fool. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. O Yahuwah, the hope of Yashadael, all that forsake you shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken Eth Yahuwah, the fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Yahuwah, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of Yahuwah? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hastened from being a shepherd to follow you, neither have I desired the woeful day. Rather, woeful day. You know that which came out of my lips was right before you. Be not a terror unto me. You are my hope in the day of evil. Let them not, rather, let them be confounded that persecute me. But let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed. But let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. Thus says Yahuwah unto me, Go and stand in the gate of the children of the people, whereby the kings of Yahuda come in, and by the which they go out, and in all the gates of Yerushalayim, and say unto them, Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, ye kings of Yahuda, and all Yahuda, and all the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, that enter in by these gates. Thus says Yahuwah, Take heed to yourselves, and bear no burden on the Shabbat, nor bring it in by the gates of Yerushalayim. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Shabbat. Neither do ye any work, but hallow ye at the day of Shabbat, as I commanded at your fathers. But they obeyed not, 
neither inclined at their ear, but made at their neck stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. And it shall come to pass, if ye diligently hearken unto me, says Yahuwah, to bring in no burden through the gates of this city on the Shabbat, but hallow the day of Shabbat, to do no work therein. Then shall there enter into the gates of this city kings and princes, sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, they and their princes, the men of Yahuda, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and this city shall remain for ever. And they shall come from the cities of Yahuda, and from the places about Yerushalayim, and from the land of Binyamin, and from the plain, and from the mountains, and from Negev, bringing burnt offerings, and sacrifices, and meat offerings, and incense, and bringing sacrifices of praise unto the house of Yahuwah. But if ye will not hearken unto me, to hallow eth the day of Shabbat, and not to bear a burden, even entering in at the gates of Yerushalayim on the Shabbat, then will I kindle a fire in the gates thereof, and it shall devour the places of Yerushalayim, and it shall not be quenched. <laughs>